Today, we're going to be talking about our predictions for the 57 kg and 65 kg weight classes. We'll have separate videos for each weight class, so be sure to check the other one out when you're done with this one. Let's go into the video. So first off, at 65 kg, it's going to be Zayn Rutherford versus Nashawn Garrett. Now Garrett's going to be bumping up a bit of weight from his usual weight class of 57 kgs where he's had some good wins uh, over guys like Seth Gross, but I don't think he's going to be able to get it done against Zayn Rutherford because he does have losses to guys like Joey McKenna at 65 kgs, while Rutherford, just a stud wrestler, was a world team member in 2019, and after losing in the world uh, championships, he's just been real solid uh, after that 2019 loss. I mean, he's beat great great wrestlers he's beat uh bronze medalist shuptar he's beat joey mckenna recently just beat butchering punia and he's beat yanni diak mahalas as well in the past so i think you should have an easy win over nation garrett in this one the matchup is between james green and joey mckenna green qualified by being a world team member at 70 kgs dropping down five kgs of weight to compete at a weight class he hasn't really been the best in i mean he has one win over alec pantianalo and then he beat pat lugo in a very close three to two matchup but then also lost to budgering punia eight to four um at the eight man so it's gonna be hard for him to compete at this weight especially since he has these close matches with guys that didn't even qualify for the olympics so don't think he's gonna be able to beat mckenna who was a 2019 senior nationals runner up where he had that huge upset over yanni jack mahalas so I think McKenna could probably get it done here to move on to the semi. Nick Lee versus Jordan Oliver. Oliver, who was a Bill Farrell Memorial Champion. That's how he qualified in 2019. The whole 2019 year was a great year for him. Other than that, lost to Rutherford. Um, did great at Bill Farrell. He beat Nick Lee. He beat Joey McKenna. He beat Frank Malarino. Um, didn't give up a point in any of those matches except to Frank Malarino, who was an Olympian in 2016. So, I mean, Oliver, if he can return to his form that he was in 2019, he can definitely do a lot of damage in this bracket. I mean, recently he did take a loss to Alec Pantianella, but that was kind of an outlier. And hopefully he's out of his slump when he goes up against Nick Lee, who, like I said, already has a loss to Jordan Oliver and has trained folks out this whole entire year uh, trying to be an NCAA champion. Which he did accomplish, but I think him training folks out for that whole year and not going up against senior level competition since 2019 uh, really will affect him in this matchup with Oliver. So I think Oliver is going to take this one uh, pretty comfortably. In the fourth and final quarter final matchup is Yanni Diakmahalas versus Evan Henderson. Now, Diakmahalas qualified in 2019, got fourth at senior nationals. Recently, it's just been doing very, very well. I mean, he has a win over Bajrang Punia in 2020, beat the streets. He lost to uh, Vladimir Kinchukashvili in a 4-4 matchup also in 2020, but uh, I mean, it was very, very close. And then in the Henry de Glane, uh Grand Prix in this year, he beat uh, Vladimir, got revenge in this one, got a tech fall over him, and really showed how much he's improved in just one year of just strictly training freestyle. Um, he also beat James Green uh, twice at the RTC Cup, so... Coming off of some pretty good freestyle uh, competitions, should be having an easy win over Evan Henderson, who barely made the Olympics by basically just half Nelsoning Pat Lugo uh, in a match he was about to lose. So, uh, should be a pretty easy win for Yanni Diakmahal. Then, in the first semifinal, Zane Rutherford versus Joy McKenna. Rutherford, he has a win over McKenna in 2020, and both these guys did go up against Budrung. They lost to Budrung, but then recently, uh, Rutherford avenged that loss so in common opponents Rutherford's leading and in head to head he's leading so I think it's a pretty easy decision to pick him in this matchup Rutherford just a stud wrestler really doesn't make a lot of mistakes and he's very strong for his weight class kind of also a lanky guy a guy who's pretty tall and can get like kind of just reach to legs and sometimes grab him but uh, I think you're not gonna be able to beat Rutherford who has those great great hand fighting um, just a strong wrestler when he's able to get your legs and finishes a lot of the time and then the second semifinal, Jordan Oliver versus Yanni Jack Mahalas is a rematch of the uh, U.S. Open in 2019, I believe, the semifinals of that tournament. Uh, it's, it was not really a close match. I mean, people thought it was going to be close, but Yanni, I mean, he gave up a few points in the beginning, I believe, but then just came out and just dominated Jordan Oliver for the rest of that matchup. Ended up tagging him 16-5, got a leg lace or two, got a few takedowns in that matchup, so... Uh, Yanni definitely has the psychological advantage probably when he goes up against Oliver again and Yanni like I said he has just been so just improved so much since 2019 uh, and it's really evident in this year so should have a close matchup with Oliver here but I think you probably get it done and beat him one more time. In the finals Yanni Hollis versus Zane Rutherford these guys they've gone back and forth a lot a lot of times I mean 
Yanni first beat him at the US Open 2019 finals. It was a great tournament. Yanni just did very well throughout that whole entire 2019 tournament, but then Zayn ended up beating him at Final X on a very controversial match too. And then they were gonna wrestle like the Asar Dogu, but then Zayn got injured and then at, they had a wrestle off and like, I think it was like at some random stadium by NLWC and then Zayn won that one. So he made the world team. It was very, very complicated, bro. But um, they're coming back. They're gonna wrestle one more time. They both have a win over Butchering Punya this time. They both have been doing very well in 2021. And um, it's gonna be a close matchup, but Yanni, He's just strictly been training freestyle. So is Zane. Zane training with the NLWC guys. Yanni training with guys like Kyle Dake, Vito Ruchow. Um, it's going to be a good matchup between um, these wrestlers. But I think Yanni's going to be able to get it done here. Just a great scrambler. He's gotten very crafty um, in freestyle. And it's gonna, definitely going to be close against a guy who makes like no mistakes like Rutherford does. But um, Yanni's just improved a lot. I've said this a lot of times throughout this video. Um, just improved so much since he first started in freestyle. So it's gonna be close But I think he can take the win and make his first Olympic team against St. Rutherford Yeah, let's wrap up our video talking about our predictions 457 kgs and 65 kgs If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like comment down below and stuff more as comes like this. Peace